this nearly perfect sphere of hot plasma is your first destination. To get there, you have to travel almost 93 million miles or one astronomical unit. That's 400 times more than the distance to the moon. The closer you get, the more confused you become. The sun's surface looks like scorched earth or caramelized popcorn. And then it just clicks. This pattern is created by the boiling gas surrounding the star. Each individual cell you see is actually the size of Texas. This gas is moving in a rolling motion at incredible speeds. This process creates so-called solar granules. Some spots look brighter. That's where scorching hot solar material has risen closer to the surface. When it cools down and sinks, you can see dark lanes. In these dark areas, there are bright specks. Those are magnetic field markers. You don't dare have a closer look because the sun's surface temperature is 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit. But this number pales in comparison with how hot the star's core is. 27 million degrees. Woo, it's getting too hot. Time to move further. The closest planet to the sun is Mercury. Once you see it, you think something's gone wrong and your spacecraft has followed the wrong route. The place looks eerily similar to the good old moon. A few moments later, though, you realize it's just an illusion. Mercury is one of the four rocky planets of the solar system. That's why you can actually step on its surface. All around, you see craters created by space rocks. It would take your rover about eight days to travel all the way around the planet. But driving on Mercury wouldn't be a simple task. Its surface is littered with gigantic hills with steep slopes. Some of them reach a height of two miles and stretch for hundreds of miles. That's good you're wearing a special spacesuit. Mercury doesn't have an atmosphere, and the temperatures on the planet are extreme. 800